Hi guys, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another travel vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love travel, beauty, lifestyle, and fashion videos. <laughs> All right guys, so I am back here in Miami. It's Halloween weekend and I decided to come on down because I want to celebrate Halloween in Miami, of course. Of course, I flew in and immediately checked into the one hotel. <laughs> I can't help it, you guys. Like, I was definitely thinking about staying at a different hotel just to give you guys a different feel. But, like, once you stay at the one, you just can't stay anywhere else. You can't. So, but what I did do is I got a different room from the first time I came here and the second time I came here so that you can, guys can get a feel for the different rooms that they have. I checked in. Of course, I had to stop at the coffee shop neighbors downstairs and get myself an oat milk latte. It's so good. Like, literally, you don't even need any sugar. And then... I got this room. This is the king room. This is like the standard king room. The last time I was here, I had the king studio, which had a whole kitchen and a washer and dryer. And the time before that, I stayed in a whole one bedroom that had a separate living room and kitchen. So it's like I'm started at the top and I'm getting lower and lower for you guys, but like, this is stunning. So I'm gonna give you a little tour. When you walk in, it's a nice, beautiful hallway. To your left, there is ample and i mean ample closet space lots of drawers lots of cubbies there is a drawer with a safe inside of course they give you an iron there's an iron board there's plenty of hangers for us fashion girls y'all know when the hotels don't have enough hangers how do we live we, we 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 can't we need as many hangers as possible of course it does come with two beautiful plush robes as well and just lots of closet space and i love that you can kind of close it with these little like see-through curtains now when you walk in to your right is a bathroom <laughs> the bathrooms at the one are incredible this bathroom is definitely better than the king studio bathroom like it has a soaking tub you guys a soaking tub that opens into the room like, of course, there's a glass there and a curtain, so you can have some privacy, but how cool is that? I'm definitely going to take advantage of that soaking tub. The King Studio only had a shower. This has a soaking tub. Your girl got to take a bubble bath. It also has a separate shower. It has a little separate stall with toilet. Of course, it has a huge, beautiful sink with all of the amenities. Y'all, they have Tom Ford products. Tom Ford products. I'm here for it. I, I hope it smells great. They have Tom Ford products for the sink and for the shower. Very excited about that. Plenty of towels. I love the decor in there, the, the hanging lights, the mirror. I'm, I'm here for it. My room is definitely a city view room, meaning I'm facing the city or the bay, not the ocean. And I actually prefer not to face the ocean because I feel like in videos and photos, everything comes across so blue um, and I hate that. Here at the front of the building, I can literally look out. It has a, a fantastic view of Collins. Now, once you leave the bathroom, you come in a little bit above that. They have this beautiful little like bar area where they have tons of snacks. Y'all know the snacks here are incredible. Like I love their snacks. I'm definitely gonna raid that, that snack bar. But they also have a beautiful Nespresso coffee maker. Y'all know I live for my coffee, so I'm gonna put that to use. And then you come into this grandiose room. The bed is huge. They have all of this gray and wood and white birch. I mean, the, the vibes, the vibes of the one are unmatched. It's so minimal, yet so chic. It's very updated. Like this is exactly what I want my house to look like. I'm taking notes. I am taking notes. Everything here in here is incredible. And there's a full length mirror, which is great because my last room didn't have one. Y'all remember? And it was really getting on my nerves. Like, how am I gonna show you guys my outfits of the day? Huge TV, huge like wooden desk area where I can do some work, tons of seating room. Like I could, I could have a party in here. I really could. And then again, I told you a stunning view. I'm in room 415, if any of you are interested. It is a lower room, but once I saw that bathroom, because I was set on going down there and being like, why y'all put me on such a low floor? But I think the king rooms are all on lower floors, so I don't even mind. I do not mind. Sorry if I was kinda um, bright there. But the light coming in this way is incredible. I would definitely recommend you trying to get a room in the front if you're into like photos and just good lighting versus 
the ocean view i mean the ocean is cute but like i can still go down there so as soon as i got in i unpacked all of my things because i'm super type a i brought a few cool pairs of shoes y'all i brought my new bottegas hopefully i can wear them at some point i didn't bring as many like accessories because i'm only going to be here for a few days last time i feel like i was here almost a week i also brought my new white bottega bag which i love i bought my louis vuitton multi pochette bag i also brought my new brown jacquemus bag which i will be wearing today um and lots of colorful outfits i'm going to a fun halloween party where it's like disco 70s vibes like studio 54 type vibes and so that should be fun of course i'm taking you guys with me i quickly did a face because i didn't wear anything on the plane the lip is fenty unveil you would have seen me unbox that in a previous video but I put on this white linen shirt from H&M. You guys know I love this shirt. I have so many of them. It's a little wrinkled, but I don't care. And these biker shorts are from Hanifa, the two-piece set that I have with the matching blue top. I got the small because her clothes, for me, they do run a little big. And I'm normally a medium, so I get small in everything. And the small usually fits really well. But I just got in my room at about 4.15. And I have a nail appointment. Luckily, my favorite nail place that I go to all the time here in Miami, I can't think of the name right now, but I will link them down below. It's one block away. <laughs> like, I'm going to walk there for sure. And I booked it yesterday on class pass before I even... <laughs> before i even booked this hotel room i knew i needed to come and get my nails done because they're looking a hot mess i was thinking about getting green but i might just stick with my brown we'll see i'm gonna head on over there get my nails done there is a kith across the street from my nail salon and so i kind of want to go in kith just a little little browsing just to see what i can see i might buy something and then later on tonight ria y'all know real michelle make sure you're following her my trinidadian boo who lives here in miami she pretty much runs miami Stick with her, she'll take you far. We're heading to Carbone for a dinner tonight. And I wanted to make sure I got reservations at Carbone because I have taken y'all to all the hottest restaurants in my Miami vlogs, except Carbone. And I've been quite a few times. I just never vlog when I go. So I'm gonna vlog Carbone for you guys so you all can experience it. And I'm gonna wear this gorgeous new dress I just got in tonight. I'm excited. All right, guys, gonna throw on a shoe, gonna throw on a scent, gonna grab a bag, and we're gonna go get these nails done. It's gonna be a good one. I'm so happy to be back in Miami. Ah, oh, I feel like myself. All right, guys, so here is the look. Very quick and easy. I went with these Bottega strappy mules in brown, this Jacquemus brown bag. Hanifa shorts, H&M shirt, Louis Vuitton earrings, and Fenty lip. All right, I'm gonna pop you guys in here. Oh, the scent is a uh, Tay Noir by La Labo. All right, let's go. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.
perfume y'all I can't help it I can't all right so tonight's bag is the same Jacquemus Grand Chiquito bag in brown shout out to pockets and bows for inspiring me or influencing me pretty much to buy this bag it's so good I've been carrying it everywhere I actually bought this dress and this bag at the same time from the shop bop sale i believe the sale is over now but this was also 30 percent off which is like incredible all right make sure i got a mask my credit cards good all right so this is the look i'm going to do a few insta stories and then i'm going to head downstairs all right guys, why are the lights flashing? What is happening? You guys see that, right? All right, you guys are flashing, so I'm gonna change the battery. Pop you guys in my purse and we're gonna head downstairs and see if we can get the complimentary car service that is offered here at One Hotel. And shout out to Octavia, Octavia B, for like letting me know that this is even possible because she usually stays at, I believe the one when she goes to LA. I had no idea about the car service. So thank you, girl. I do watch your vlogs and girl, we need to have lunch before I officially like move to Miami. Let me change the battery on you guys, pop you in my purse and let's go to Carbon. <laughs>
Good morning, everyone. It is day two of my trip here in Miami. It is Saturday, October the 30th. You guys, last night was so much fun. <laughs> Rhea and I met up at Carbone, Miami, which is an amazing restaurant here in Miami. It's one of like the hottest restaurants in town. I've never been on a Friday and it was popping in there. Like it was popping. We had a 10, 15 reservation. We did not get seated until maybe 11 because it was so busy in there. But we just got some drinks at the bar and just kind of chilled and talked and we got a table, we went back. I like to sit inside. I mean, you can sit outside, but you just never know if it's gonna rain in Miami. So I was not trying to ruin my brand new Alexander Wang dress. I got so many compliments on my dress last night, by the way, my whole outfit really. It's just the best when people like like your style. So many people asked me about that dress last night. I can find it anywhere online. I'll link it down below. But I did get it from the Shop Bop sale along with that Jacquemus bag that I was carrying yesterday as well. I had French 75s to drink. Rhea always gets, I think a Cab, a Cabernet. And then I had the Linguini. Vogel, I believe, or no, I had the Mussels Linguini. She had the ravioli, we got the bread basket. They always bring a bread basket with like a marinated cauliflower and oh, that bread is so good, y'all. I would just go for the bread basket, like it's that good. And we also got octopus. The octopus wasn't bad, but I've had better. Everything was delicious. We just had a really good time just talking and catching up. Yeah, she's awesome. So definitely check her out. Give her a follow on Instagram at Rhea Michelle. So after that, I just ended up coming home, taking off that dress and taking a shower and calling it a night because I believe I got home at two <laughs> or 1.30. Like, I don't know, it was late. And I'm not used to staying out that late y'all, but. So woke up bright and early. I just had a little bit of work to do. I just wanted to make sure I got everything out to brands that needed to be out, even if it's the weekend. So I don't have to think about it next week. Today, Maria is coming over and we are shooting. I have maybe like five looks I wanna shoot while I'm here. Then we're probably gonna chill. We might go shopping. We might go to the shopping district and maybe get lunch at Swan maybe. Tonight we have the Halloween party at Eden Rock. And that's kind of like a Studio 54, like glam type of party. So I have a sparkly dress to wear to that for Halloween tonight and Rhea's gonna meet us there as well. So it's going to be a jam packed fun day. And of course, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I have a slight hangover. So I think I'm gonna go down to Neighbors, the coffee shop here at One Hotel and get my favorite oat milk latte. I think I'm gonna head down to the beach for a little bit. I think my shoot starts at 11. So I have a little bit of time, I have like two hours. And thanks to having this hair, like literally all I, I ever have to do is my makeup and it gets done. Like I love having this hairstyle. All right, guys, I, We'll check in with you all when things are happening, but so far I'm just happy to be back. Like, I open my window, it's 8.53 a.m. and it's nice and balmy and warm and it smells so good outside. I can't wait to go out there and dip my feet in the ocean and take you guys with me, of course. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day, good fun day. By the way, because I know someone is gonna ask, this dress I'm wearing is super old the line by K and they do not make these anymore, unfortunately. All right, guys, let's get my life together. Let's get some coffee. Let's go to the beach. And then we're gonna come back and get ready for our shoot.
I came back to the room, took a shower after grabbing a coffee from neighbors and taking a, a nice walk on the beach this morning. It was very calming, very beautiful. Ugh, it's so grounding, that's why I love it here so much. Got my makeup together, I put on the same Alexander Wang dress from last night. You can see it, be see it better now that it's during the day, but it does have a corset inside oh let me zip that up so maria is downstairs so i found a cute little spot to take a photo of this i hope it comes out well we're going to shoot around the hotel and then i believe we're going to head to lincoln road this is maria now okay she just texts me she's sitting across from the cafe so i'm going to pop on my earrings i'm going to pop on the same shoes i wore last night to carbon grab my little uploader here and then we are going to shoot i'm going to take you guys hopefully i can get some behind the scenes so you can see the outfit shooting with we just have this one look left that I have on but since we're pretty much done we're gonna go to bodega we're gonna go to bodega and get some tacos I haven't had bo bodega tacos oh my God. <laughs> such I'm like I'm so short in such a long really? time that's extra <laughs> I haven't had bod bodega tacos in such a long time and I'm craving them so they're bringing the car around from Valet and we're gonna head to Bodega. And maybe I'll, I don't know what else I'm gonna do today. Maybe we'll go to the design district. It's supposed to rain, so we'll see. Maybe we'll just have a beach day.
All right guys, so I'm back at the hotel after a shoot day with Maria. It is now about, I wanna say it's like 2.30. We started shooting at about 11.30. We shot six looks. I love every single look. All of the pictures came out so great. I'm sure a few of them are already up on my Instagram. So you can definitely head on over to my Instagram at Moreau Steel and check them out. I'm really loving like all of the pieces. Do not worry, everything that's available I have linked down below. And I know I'm gonna get so many questions about um, the Bottega spiral like foam cord sandals. I would say that they're not the most comfortable shoes around the toe area like sometimes it feels like the cords are mashing into your toes but i feel like over time it's gonna stretch out but i really do love those shoes and i did walk around in them for about an hour today um with no problems i think what i want to do i have a few hours until the party tonight at eden rock and so i think i'm gonna go get a bike and i'm gonna bike along collins just to get some sun and see the sights and i did bring some workout gear so I could just do some biking. I had a really good time like biking when I was in Santa Monica, shooting my collection with my girl Sanji, if you watched that vlog. So they have complimentary bikes here. So I'm gonna go grab one and go for a ride. After we finished shooting, Maria and I headed over to Bodega, one of my favorite taquerias here. I got a mango margarita, so delicious. And then I ended up getting like the steak chimichurri, the shrimp, and the coconut shrimp tacos. Everything was just divine. Y'all know I love bodega. Okay, so I'm gonna rest for a bit. I'm gonna check my email, and then I'm gonna change into some workout gear, and I'm gonna go down and get a bike and do some biking. So it should be fun. But if you are enjoying the video thus far, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. It pushes my videos out so that more people can see. Please do give me a thumbs up if this is your first time watching a video or maybe your 10th time and you just not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss a video. Also hit that notification bell so anytime I upload you We'll get a notification you can watch the video first you can shop the video first y'all know i'll be linking everything down in the description box all right so i'm gonna chill for a bit go ahead and put on my workout gear and then we're gonna do some biking should be fun all right guys so i cleaned up a bit i put on this two-piece set from lululemon it's one of my favorite workout sets. I absolutely love it. I also have it in white. I'm gonna throw on some sneakers and probably wear my crossbody bag from Louis just so I can bring my hotel key and my vlog camera and everything. Then I'm gonna go get a bike. Here's the fit. 
I've linked everything down below. These sneakers are old. Sorry guys, if I can find them though, I'll link them. They are the Nikes. They're super comfy. Um, so yeah, hopefully there are some bikes available and we're gonna go bike. guys back from my bike ride I biked for about two and a half hours I biked all the way down from 24th Street all the way down around the pier over by the yachts and the boats and the dock kind of where you get on to yachts and then I just turned around and came all the way back came back up past 24th and went all the way up to like I don't know 60th Street and then I biked back it was really, really fun. I had just a great time. I was jamming out to all of my oldies hits. I did stop midway between and headed to this place that I love to get acai smoothies. I used to go there every morning after my workout and get an acai smoothie and then go to the beach. That place is amazing. If you're around maybe like 16th Street and Collins, definitely uh, check it out. It's right next to Joe the Juice. Um, they have, they really do have the best acai berry smoothies. That was really fun biking. I feel like once I move, I'm gonna get a bike probably and that's gonna be like part of my, like, I don't know, fitness routine. I mean, I do work out, I'm in pretty good shape but I could definitely do more cardio and I feel like getting a bike would help me with that. So I'm looking forward to getting like a little bike when I move here. I think it would, it would be easy for me too to just get around Miami Beach with a bike. Everywhere is pretty close and then I can like do my groceries, just get a little basket for my bike. That was super fun and relaxing and yeah, I really, really enjoyed that. It's about 5.30 now. The party tonight is at 10. 
So I am going to relax a bit, take a nice hot shower. And then I feel like, I don't really feel like going anywhere to get any food. I mean, I did have some tacos, but I think I might order room service from the restaurant upstairs and just kind of chill out, hang, watch some TV. I haven't been able to just rest and relax for a good while. So I think I'll do that. And then I'll get ready for the Halloween party at Eden Rock and take you guys with me. Rhea is coming. Maria was supposed to come, but she's not coming anymore. <laughs> it's okay though. God, it is so beautiful. Ugh, you guys, I love it here. Look how beautiful the sun is on that blue sky. Oh, uh, it's everything. All right, I'll check in with you guys soon. Hello guys, so I took a little nap. I ordered some room service. I just had a salad with some salmon. And now I am doing my makeup for the Halloween party tonight at Eden Rock Hotel in collaboration with the Peach Room. And it should be fun. It's kind of like a dress, glam, like, I don't know, kind of Studio 54, your favorite, I don't know, 1970s, 60s stars, Andy Warhol type of vibe. Um, so I'm wearing a sparkly dress, the same sparkly dress that I wore for New Year's last year, okay. Um, when I celebrated here in Miami, went to a dinner with Rhea, Gloria, Taylor, and then we did a boat day on the first. That's kind of like a little tradition now. I feel like we're gonna do the same thing again. This New Year's, we always get a yacht and just spend the first day of the year like boating, having fun on the water. The light isn't that great in here, so you might not be able to see my makeup too good, but I'm just kind of doing a regular face. I don't think I've ever been to Eden Rock Hotel, but I'm excited to go to this party, even though I have a little bit of a headache. Um, hopefully that goes away. I think it's because I didn't drink a coffee, but I did have a latte this morning, but maybe there was not enough caffeine in there. I'm just gonna contour my nose really quick. A little bit of Fenty um, Espresso Stick. I'm meeting Rita at, at the party at 10.30, and it's gonna be fun, I feel like. We are a VIP, because I'm working with the brand. I'm working with Eden Rock. So we get like drinks and like snacks and um, all night. I can't remember the last time I did something for Halloween. I don't really celebrate Halloween like that, but this should be fun. So I will check back in when I'm getting ready and then we will Uber over. It's actually not too far from my hotel, so I don't have to be so on time, you know what I mean? All right guys, got myself together. The lip, of course, is still a fiery. The earrings are Jack Moose. This dress is from Retrofit. They make really fun, like occasion dresses. Most of them are sequins, and they all have these like, same like silhouette and shape where it wraps and it's a mini dress. I'll give you a better view in a minute. So this is what I'm wearing tonight. I feel like it's very, you know, it's giving. It's giving poofy sleeves. It's giving retro vibes. That's what retro fit does. But glam, retro, retro. I'm gonna wear my Gianni Taurasi heels. I forgot to pack a black bag. So I'm just going to carry my Brandon Blackwood denim bag. We are good to go. Let me give you a better view. This is the dress and I feel glorious in it. And you can see my makeup a little better too. I did a little something different using Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Sticks eyeshadow and I love those. These are the shoes. My Giambito Rossi heels. These come in a ton of different colors by the way. If they are still available, I'll link them um, down below. I would say that they are quite 
true to size. And then for the bag, we're just gonna do my Brandon Blackwood because I, for, I neglected to bring a bag that was gonna actually match this outfit. Okay, so it's 10.05. I'm meeting Rhea there at 10.30. So actually I can relax for a little bit. I really don't need to leave here for like another 15, 20 minutes. All right, so I will check back in when we're in, I'm on the way to the party when we get to the party and also take you guys along with me for the party. Should be fun. See you guys soon. Good morning loves today is Sunday October the 31st today is Halloween it's also my late grandmother's birthday so prayers up love her so I pretty much chill this morning I slept in because Rhea and I went to the Eden Rock Hotel last night for um, the peach room party it was pretty fun free drinks food it was really nice seeing everyone's costumes people wore whatever they wanted y'all not a lot of people stuck to the theme which i knew that was gonna happen anyway but overall we had a pretty good time i ended up wearing this sparkly retro fit dress and i believe the dress that ria had on was from either boohoo or nasty gal but it was really cute as well we had a good time and then i actually met a subscriber too let me close this window because it's a little loud soundproof windows is where it's at i'm gonna make sure i have soundproof windows in my house and then i just came home and went to sleep and i slept in today y'all like i didn't get out of my bed until maybe 11 a.m which is unusual for me but i've been staying up pretty late every night <laughs> since i've been here um so it was nice to sleep in and just catch up on some z's i also published a new youtube video this morning so i spent a little bit of time getting that description box ready it is my 
updated handbag collection for 2021 and i also did a new bag unboxing as well so if you haven't checked out that video definitely check that video out so i got up took a shower got myself together did a very light beat i'm wearing the Ami Cole Deep 2 Tinted Moisturizer, which is a black owned makeup brand. Definitely check them out. The Fenty Lip. And I'll show you guys my outfit, but the top I'm wearing is this tennis top from the brand Garris Fatim, which is a black owned business based out of Paris. Y'all know I wear this top to death. I practically live in it and I need a new one. I'm gonna buy a new one because I wear this top into the ground. It's so comfortable and well made and unique. And every time I wear it, I get so many compliments. I actually shot this look the other day. You can follow your girl on Instagram, at Monroe Steele, to see what I'm, what I'm up to. I'm doing Insta stories every day while I'm here in Miami. So a lot of the things that you will see on my Insta stories will end up in this vlog. If you want the tea when it's actually happening, and not one to two weeks later definitely check me out on insta stories check me out over on instagram so today what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head to this restaurant i've been wanting to try out for brunch it, i've heard so many great reviews about it it's called little hen and it's over in midtown it's just gonna be me so hopefully i can get a seat like normally when you go by yourself it's easier to get like a reservation or a table at some place that's very popular um, and i like to try things out myself the first time I go anyway, just to prevent bias. So I'm gonna head to Little Hen, hopefully have brunch there. And then I'm gonna head over to the design district and maybe do a little shopping. There's a few stores I wanna pop in just to take a look. I may also head to a few furniture stores in the design district as well because I wanna look at couches. I'm on the hunt for like the perfect couch for my house. And it has to be my, not forever couch, but forever for this, my first house couch. Like I want the couch of my dreams. And of course, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I need a coffee, something fierce. So I'm gonna head down to neighbors, get a coffee before I have a headache. And I'm gonna see if I can get the complimentary car to actually take me to Little Hen. Um, hopefully it's available it is like halloween day and mostly everyone went out last night so i'm feeling like people are going to be recovering today so this the city especially the miami design district i'm hoping it's not going to be as crowded because it is a sunday but it's the sunday of a holiday so maybe maybe i'm kidding myself it's probably going to be jam-packed over there y'all anywho let me show you the rest of my outfit oh here's where the light has been living i'm gonna pop you guys on this tripod so this is the top from garris for tim it's really cool it ties around the back it wraps around the neck it's a really fun top i love wearing this top the jeans are actually new in i don't think i've even shown you guys this but i did put these in a blog post about like the hottest trending best like affordable designer and luxury jeans to buy this fall and winter these were included in that post and they were on sale from ukes so i'm telling you if you're looking for fashion deals and fashion trends you're not actually reading my blog you're playing yourself i will link this blog post down below so that you guys can check out all of the denim jeans that i'm loving right now but these are margella and these are my third pair of Margiela jeans. All of Margiela jeans are really cool. They're unique. They have all of these fun design aspects. The first pair I ever got of Margiela jeans, which is like these flared 70s jeans with a very high waist. I wore them previously like here in the Miami Design District. The second pair that I just bought, which is the slashed cutouts. Everyone loves those. And these are the third pair that I bought. And I got these from Ukes on sale. And I love this little part here, how it like sticks up. It's very cool. But all of the Margiela jeans, well, a lot of them are very kind of relaxed boyfriend fit, which I like. With this outfit, I am going to wear my white Bottega mules. And I'm probably gonna carry this white Bottega bag, or maybe not. Like, I don't like carrying this bag too much because I don't want to mess it up. Maybe I'll carry my Jack and Loose bag. Yeah. So I think... What I'm gonna do is wear my favorite Bottega mules. These are so comfortable. I can literally walk around in them all day, which is why I love them. I'm probably gonna take this Jacquemus bag that you would have seen me unbox in my most recent handbag video. 
I'm probably gonna put on some sunglasses that match this brown bag just to bring out the brown. I'm gonna throw on my Louis Vuitton earrings. And then that is the look for today. All right guys, so here's the full look. You can see how cool these jeans are. I love unique things like this. The sunglasses are Loewe. Unfortunately, they are sold out. Um, the bag is Jacquemus, pants, Margiela, mules, Bottega, top gears for Tim. That's the look. Let's go get a coffee. guys so I just left city furniture store and I found some really good options for a couch and the good thing is that everything is in stock which is great I thought I was gonna have a rough time finding a couch I have four really good options all are in stock so very happy about that I'm gonna go to my house get some measurements and go ahead and purchase that because they said they can hold it for me until my closing is done and until it's time for me to move in i also went to little hen which was really really cool the brunch there was really great highly recommend and i literally just walked one block to the design district so we're here in the design district i'm gonna do a little window shopping and take you guys with me it is gorgeous today i should have worn shorts it is hot let's see what we can find over here in the design district.
Hey y'all. So I just got back from uh, the design district. I did end up going to Little Hen. It was really, really great. I love the decor in there. It's super kind of like very pretty, very like vintage like as well with like their plating. It was really cool. And because it was Halloween, they had like this lady there in this huge dress. Um, she was cool. The food was actually good. Sometimes gimmicky places like that don't have good food, but I had some kind of rosemary, rose roses pancakes, and those pancakes were bomb. Okay, they were delicious. And then I just got some eggs and a side of bacon, and everything was really good. I then ended up checking out some couches, found some really good options for my house, which is great, and everything is in stock, which I was worried about. And then I went over to the design district, I went into Simonette, I tried on three things and I bought all three things, y'all. I love Simonette, it's one of my favorite stores. They do have an online store, so if you're interested, I'll put it down in the description box. But I own a few things from Simonette. The most infamous thing is that yarn tie shirt. I have one in black, I have one in cream, I also have one in like a mint color. I have no idea what they are. I'm guessing they're in storage. Simonette is really cool. Let me show you what I got. First of all, I got this brown fringe skirt. It is a thicker knit. It's a one size fits all, but it fits really well. And the thing is, it matches my new bag. <laughs> so I had to buy it. It looks really great on. I got this denim skirt, which was the first thing that I tried on. This is definitely giving me like Alexander Wang, Margiela vibes. It fits like a dream. It's a really cool, like a midi skirt or even a maxi skirt. It has like one pocket in the back. It kind of looks like two pair of denim jeans kind of sewn together, but it looks amazing on. Like how cool is this with a pocket on the bottom? I love this. I got the size large because this does run small. I'm normally a medium, so she told me to size up to a large and the large fits perfectly. Last, I got this dress. I tried it on and I put it on my stories and I was like, did y'all think that I bought the dress or not? And most of you said you thought that I bought it. And of course I did. I ended up getting a medium in this because this runs kind of very small. Maybe I should have gotten a large, but I love the colors. I feel like it would match really well with my Bottega Spiral sandals. I and mean, it's like a yarn, kind of like a knit, almost a little see-through, but perfect for Miami. Sorry about the light, like the sun is, the sun is sunning today, okay? It's shining bright like a diamond. And I'm here for it because I need that vitamin D. I just love it when it's sunny. So that's what I got from Simonette. I did end up going into Longvin, I believe. I didn't see anything in there. I went in Gucci, walked around, look at a few of the things they have from their 100 year collection. But really, I'm just interested in the Aria collection, I believe that's how you pronounce it, with Balenciaga. And that doesn't come out until November 15th. So I'm gonna have to wait a few more weeks for that. I did end up going into Margella. Margella. You guys know I love Margella. The jeans I have on are Margiela. It's so cool in there. They actually moved locations. They are still in the design district, but they moved into a brand new two-story store that's really, really beautiful. And the same guys that worked at the old one were there today and they were like, oh yeah, we remember you. You bought some jeans the last time you were here, right? And I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, do you, ha do you have the slit uh, Margiela jeans? And I was like, yes, you know, I got them. And he was like, you know, we have those in white, right? And I was like, no like why would you tell me that and he's like I'm gonna bring them to you so he brought them to me I went into their super cool dressing room which is has black glossy walls and the most amazing light in there that makes you look flawless they know what they doing in those dressing rooms y'all and I tried on the jeans and I just had to get them because I was, they look too good so now I have the Margiela slit jeans also in a creamy white so that's all I bought um, I did end up going to the Dior Cafe just for a coffee and just to chill. And then I just ended up coming back here. So now what I'm gonna do is relax for a bit, but I'm a little bit hungry. 
and I have shopped up a storm. So I think I'm gonna go to Water, which is the rooftop restaurant here. And I really want that lobster sushi roll. And some french fries. Like, I know that's a weird combination, but that's what I want. So I might freshen myself up a bit and then I'm gonna head up there and see if I can get a reservation, of course, and take you guys with me. But if you are enjoying it thus far, please do give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And do not forget, every place I've been, everything you have seen is linked down below in the description box. I'm gonna freshen up a bit and then we're gonna get an early dinner and then just gonna chill. <laughs> 